and I'm not surprised at the verdict. I think it was mm -hmm. the right verdict based on the evidence presented. I just thought it would take them longer to get there. Mm -hmm. Michael Ayala was right. It's the only time I'm going to say it. Every now and then. So, yeah, you know, definitely. just hold on to that. All right, still with us, celebrity civil litigator John Phillips. And again, celebrity, this is a TikToker that had a lot of followers that now has gotten off on self-defense. Are you surprised by the verdict? And if he was your client, what would you tell him to do or not do as kind of a celebrity in the social media world? I was I was with Michael yesterday talking about this and and I, I, what I was surprised about is that they went an hour and then went home right because usually if they think they can wrap it up but I think it's one they wanted to sleep on and look like they took uh, seriously and get into today because um, that last day for a jury's always got a lot with jury instructions particularly in this case as for advice going forward as the judge says, there's no winners in these cases. And what you don't want to see is somebody turning tragedy into um, monetary or uh, fame or, or anything else. It, 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 it just stay the course and learn from this would be, would be my first advice. And that's why you're good at what you do. I think that's the best mm -hmm. advice. But we were discussing this upstairs, and some said, hey, he's going to get right back on TikTok, and he's going to start mm -hmm. talking about this. I don't know if he will or not, right. but I think people are thinking about that. He did do that after the incident. Unfortunately, yeah. um, John, the first thing he did was he went online and he was almost gloating and the judge had to tell him, you stay off mm -hmm. TikTok. Yeah. So hopefully he's matured and stays away from it. But the other big question in the trial was whether he would take the stand. And as I said, I don't know if his mind was in the right place. Again, he was young. But let's listen to his attorneys as they talk about why they made the decision they, de they did not to put him on the stand. <laughs> Almost always in a self-defense case, you have to put your client on. But this case, the whole thing was captured from start to finish on 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 cell phone video. That was the relevant that was the relevant evidence, and that's what we tried to key the jury into. Uh, just the two minutes and forty seconds of runtime on that video, just focus them on the relevant evidence. And since it was all captured on video, we didn't need uh, to put our client on the stand. And uh, uh, I think that was the, the right decision to, 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 to not do that. John, they actually spoke glowingly of the kid. Um, they seem genuinely to think that he's turned over a, a new leaf. But certainly, and I said this from the beginning, all this defense needed was that video. And really, I think putting him on the stand would only have caused problems for them. That cross-examination would have been brutal, particularly as, as, as you noted yesterday, with the inconsistencies, with, mm -hmm. with where he, you know, got the knife and when he went inside and when he didn't, that would have been some of the, the, the hardest testimony for him to deal with, that when you have a video like this, you don't have to address other than kind of, you know, indirectly. But it's, yeah, I appreciate um, you know, the attorney and, and hopefully he listens to his attorney and again, just follows the instruction. And again, it's, it's hard for me to say, cause I've got Joe exotic as a client. Um, <laughs> and you know, he loves you talking. You haven't been able to read him in there, John. So do as I say, not as difficult. I do. Right? Exactly. That's right. That's right. For all of us, that's the truth. All right. You're going to stay with us, John. And we're certainly going to continue that discussion.